Hello and welcome to another great day here on the Jet Set. Coming up, we've got your tips for getting your house ready for fall. And developmental psychologist and mom of two, Tia Kim, PhD, joins us to talk about an important topic as our kids get back to school. But first, we're talking travel news on Here's This, powered by thejetset.com. All of this and much more is about to take off right here on the Jet Set. Welcome aboard. Bobby Laurie and Nikki Noya have your ticket to travel, food, fitness, and everything you need for an on-the-go lifestyle. Grab your boarding pass. It's time to jet set. It's time to grab a rake because the leaves of travel news are falling on Here's This, <laughs> powered by thejetset.com. A major drought in Europe, reportedly the worst in at least 500 years, is causing snarls in commerce as some major rivers have become too shallow to accommodate ships passing. The transport of goods and commodities along the continent's interior waterways is being held up, but this effect of climate change is also increasingly causing headaches for the river cruising sector. Oh, man. I know. We kind of just made it because yeah. we were just on the Rhine yeah. uh, a few months ago, mm -hmm. and then right after that, we started getting word that folks that were cruising were getting emails that they were departing from a different city because their water level was too low. That's crazy. They were being bussed in between certain cities because they, the ships just couldn't pass. What? Yeah. Who, who would have well, thought? Especially like after what we've all been through the past two years and now this, it's like, this is this is crazy news. It is. Now it's portions of the Rhine and the Danube rivers, both of which are popular for river cruising, are unnavigable as their beds have partially dried up. And with these two major channels experiencing historically low water levels, even vessels that are able to sail through have had to reduce their load capacities. And the rainfall recently in Germany has provided some relief, mm -hmm. but it's likely to only be temporary. This is really distressing. This is like, oh, this is terrible news. Yeah. This is crazy. So hopefully we have like a really good winter with lots of snow so that by next summer, things will kind of be back to normal, but oh man. Yeah, I mean, if you think about it too, you know, when we were on the Rhine, we had learned how Viking cruises specifically handle situations where there is low water. Mm -hmm. So they have some ships that are actually made to cruise through shallow waters. Mm -hmm. So when you get to those locks or when you get off the ship to, to, to go on an excursion, mm -hmm. they'll move everyone from that ship to another ship. They'll take all your clothes, they'll take your bags, and they'll put it in the same cabin number on a sister ship. I knew Torsty knew how to handle everything. <laughs> <laughs> if you are planning on sailing uh, the Rhine or the Danube, definitely check with your travel agent or your cruise operator first because things are still recovering oh, from uh, all the issues they yeah, had this summer. Not cool. Okay, now, retired nurse Ta uh, Tamara Panzino was relaxing and reading a book during a Spirit Airlines flight from Pittsburgh to Orlando, where obviously she had a little leg room, so she was really trying to relax. But that's when she heard a flight attendant say, quote, we have an infant who is not breathing, followed by an announcement over the PA system, is there a doctor on board? Panzino's instincts quickly took over and she bolted from her seat, according to, to CNN affiliate West TV, and she helped save the baby's life. Quote, I didn't know what I was dealing with, Panzino told Wesh. I saw an infant, the head was just the head was just back and blue lips, and oh. my heart just dropped. She quickly assessed the situation after asking several questions of the parents uh, of the three-year-old and then began vigorously running through the baby's sternum, shaking the child and pinching the infant, and all in an effort to help make the baby breathe again. And everything worked, the color slowly came back, and the baby survived. Okay, as a mom, <laughs> my heart just started beating really hard. I'm I mean, watching I can't, you in the corner of my I eye, can't like even grabbing your arms. Being while I was on talking. a flight and being in that kind of situation. So, Tamara, wherever you are, thank you so much for just jumping and saving that baby. And that just makes my heart. I, know, I was watching I'll the right reaction back. while I was reading it. I was like, wait a minute. Oh my yeah, God. That's what a hero. Situation. I mean, you know, and flight attendants go through training every year to mm -hmm. assist in these situations, but sometimes. It's something out of their control that's above what, what they've been taught. And luckily there's a doctor or someone on board who knows what they're doing. This so is your good news. Pass off to you, Tamara, and we'll be yeah. right back in 30 seconds with more of the Jet Set. It's back to school season, and it's never too early to start talking to kids about racially motivated bullying and empowering them to recognize, report, and refuse it so they are set up to make responsible decisions and thrive. Developmental psychologist and mom of two, Dr. Tia Kim, joins us to share the valuable tools and resources the Captain Compassion Campaign provides to kids and families. Welcome to the show, Dr. Kim. What is racially motivated bullying? Bullying is repeated, intentional, negative behavior that is associated with an imbalance of power. Oftentimes, 
Kids can be bullied based on some aspect of their physical appearance or identity, such as gender, race or ethnicity, or sexual orientation. When race is the motivating factor, we call that racially motivated or race-based bullying. Why did the Committee for Children start the Captain Compassion campaign? So we know about one in five kids report being bullied within a school year. And although that may seem like a daunting statistic, the good news is, is we know that there are really effective prevention efforts that could be put in place. So for instance, when kids intervene when they're witnessing bullying or essentially be a good upstander, we can reduce bullying by more than 50%. So in support of National Bullying Prevention Month, we at Committee for Children are launching our fifth annual Captain Compassion campaign that includes a really fun and engaging superhero webcomic to teach kids how to recognize racially motivated bullying and intervene and unleash their upstander power. What is the importance of upstander power? So upstanders are kids who can recognize, report, and refuse the behavior. And most importantly, if we're witnessing it, and we do know a lot of kids can witness this behavior, to intervene and stop it and be a good upstander. And through our Captain Compassion comic, we use a really realistic scenario to try to teach kids in an easy and fun way about how to really utilize these skills and in particular, be a good upstander. Where can we go to learn more information? Folks can check out captaincompassion.org where they can download the really cool and fun superhero webcomic and also gain access to a whole host of other free resources to help with bullying prevention. Thanks for joining us, Dr. Kim. Thank you for having me and allowing me to talk about such an important topic. Well, Bobby, we've got to take a quick break, but we've got lots more of the Jessica coming up in just 60 seconds. It's time to make sure that you are fit to fly as we jet set into health and wellness. For certain cancers that disproportionately or exclusively affect women like breast and ovarian cancer, there is a bias to focus on the mother's side of the family tree in health conversations. And for many, especially previvors, that seemed like enough. But as research has evolved and our understanding of inherited risk has deepened, it has become clear that genetic risk on our dad's side of the family can also increase an individual's breast cancer risk. Here to talk about this as well as National Previvor Day, a day to celebrate those who have inherited cancer risk, is Jen Colton and Skylar Jez, board certified physician's assistant. Welcome to the show. Hi, thank you. Jen, may I ask you to share your personal story as a previvor and the role that your father's health history has played in that? Yes, so sister was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2013 and had genetic testing done. And that's when she found out that she has the BRCA gene mutation, which actually comes from my father who died of prostate cancer in 1998. Um, her wish was for all of his siblings to be tested. And I also carry the gene. So I went ahead with the hysterectomy within a few months. And then I waited a few years and had the, the preventative double mastectomy. Why is it important that all family members, not just the women, discuss family health history? People need to think about family members, not only mom, but also dad. And they also need to talk to aunts, uncles, grandparents, cousins, kids, and sometimes family members even further down the line. Um, when people are having these conversations with family members, I want them to pay special attention to cancers diagnosed at an early age. That's usually less than age 50. Rare cancers like ovarian and cancers that run in families like breast cancer often does. What is something genetic testing can tell us about our own breast and ovarian cancer risk? Definitely have the conversations with your family as far as the genetics and the cancer that runs in your family. Uh, speak to your physician and be in the driver's seat of your own health. Where can we go to learn more? One of my favorite resources is myriad.com slash know your risk. It provides awesome details about cancers that run in family and the genes associated with those cancers. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you for having us. I'm going to say that's a lot of important welcome, information everyone. and you've got some more. Well, I do. Okay, well, high cholesterol is a serious health concern that affects over 94 million adults in the United States, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. While many don't realize they're at risk because high cholesterol often doesn't show any symptoms, major complications like heart disease, stroke, and death can happen if let if left untreated. Here to tell us more is Catherine Williman, founder and CEO of the Family Heart Foundation, and Dr. Abba Kendawal, 
Imaging Cardiologist, Stanford Healthcare. Welcome to the show. Over a third of the U.S. adult population has high cholesterol. And in fact, anywhere from one in 250 to one in five have a genetic cause for their high cholesterol. Regardless of the cause, many individuals cannot treat their cholesterol with diet and exercise alone. We know that heart disease is the number one killer of individuals in this country, and it disproportionately affects certain minorities. We also know that lowering your LDL cholesterol can help reduce that risk. We have several medications that can reduce this. However, our data shows that only a little over a half of all eligible individuals are actually on these medications. So the cholesterol health in America needs improvement. I discovered when I was 15 that my cholesterol, my LDL cholesterol was 300 milligrams per deciliter, which is very high. Um, by the time I was 39 years old, I had developed shortness of breath, even just going up a flight of stairs or hiking with my husband. And then one day I was out gardening and I developed crushing chest pain and pain radiating down my arms. I knew that something was wrong and I called 911. And in fact, I had developed a complete blockage of the main artery feeding my heart. Um, so I'm very lucky to be here today. And what I do know is that the driver of that very high cholesterol was a genetic condition called familial hypercholesterolemia, which affects about one in 250 Americans, and most people don't know they have it. For more information, you could go to morefamiliesmorehearts.org. Okay, early holiday shoppers, take note. Amazon is introducing the Prime Early Access Sale, a new 48-hour global shopping event that offers Prime members exclusive access to hundreds of thousands of early holiday deals. This takes place October 11th and 12th, so we have shopping expert Trey Bodge here to share the tips and deals to look out for. Hi, Trey. Tell us more. Hi. It's great to be joining you on The Jet Set. This newest event from Amazon, who I partner with today, is a great way for Prime members to kick off their holiday shopping early and score big deals. Amazon really knows how to give back to its Prime members by offering the best exclusive perks. The Prime Early Access Sale starts on October 11th, and for 48 hours, Prime members can save big on must-have brands across top categories, including Lego, Adidas, and I love this, even Peloton for the very first time. Additionally, Amazon's first ever top 100 list will feature a curated selection of the best holiday deals on top brands like iRobot, KitchenAid, Hasbro, Sony. Amazon's new global shopping event is one of the many perks members can enjoy with a Prime membership. My other favorite Prime benefits include fast free delivery, a one-year Grubhub Plus trial membership, and Amazon Music and Prime Video. Amazon is making it easy to prepare by allowing members to set up personalized deal notifications, adding products to their wish list, and asking Alexa to set up deal alerts on the items they want most. You can learn more about the Prime Early Access Sale by visiting Amazon.com slash Early Access and join in on the savings once they start on October 11th. Happy holiday shopping! Thanks for joining us, Trey. Well, Nikki, that was a lot of great information. Well, you're welcome, Earth. <laughs> Time to take another short <laughs> break, but don't go anywhere. We've still got lots more of the Jet Set to come. I want to make sure everyone is taken care of so they can be fit to fly. But it's okay if we eat everything on Thanksgiving, no matter what. Everything on Thanksgiving. Everything. Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving doesn't Especially go. those, the stuffing that has cheese in it that Juan doesn't like, but it's well. He likes it. The fall season is a great time to embark on home improvements, both inside and outside of your home, and for simple household makeovers. And who better than George Oliphant, the host of the nation's most popular home improvement show and reigning daytime Emmy Lifestyle Series winner, George to the rescue, to share his top tips for fall home improvements. George, thanks for joining us today. It's great to be on. I appreciate you having me. Okay, let's start in the kitchen. What can you suggest to beef up the room that we all spend so much time in? I mean, like it or not, we're going to be spending a lot more time in as it becomes fall. Holidays are almost upon us. Two appliances that get a lot of attention, a lot of love, are your refrigerator and your dishwasher. Uh, if you're looking at swapping one of those out or both of them out, 
Uh, LG came out with an amazing new fridge. It's the Counter Depth Max. What I love about it is it's a French door fridge. Uh, it's got the capacity of a standard depth fridge packed into a counter depth fridge so you have no compromise. And then as far as dishwashers go, you got the new top control dishwasher. It's going to give you a rapid and sparkling clean. You know it's the holidays. People are coming and you're going to have dishes for days. This will get your dishes done in an hour. It's got Quad Wash Pro and True Steam, which is going to sanitize and combine high pressure and jets and micro bubbles infused water to get all that food that's caked on there off. And then with the dynamic dry enhanced the true steam, you are getting a drier dish without water spots. So check those boxes, throw in the towel. Any tips for taking care of your lawn this fall? Of course, you know, if you want a big, beautiful yawn lawn in the spring, you gotta get uh, those leaves off. So uh, you have your Toro 60 volt max electric battery brushless leaf blower. It was named top cordless blower by Good Housekeeping. It's fantastic. And then once you get those leaves off, bust out your Toro new 60 volt max 21 cordless super recycler walk behind mower with Vortex technology. It's gonna slice and dice and cut up all that grass, make it beautiful. Both use the same battery. And if you got a big lawn, the 54 inch, the time cutter zero, I'm on it right now. This is honestly the most comfortable chair in the house and it's in my shed. I wish I could just put a TV here and watch the game. Uh, this thing, I can't say enough about it. It's literally like a go-kart with a recliner and it cuts your yard. George, where can we go and get more information? For more information, definitely check out lg.com US. Uh, if you got bugs, definitely check out raid.com and uh, toro.com backslash George. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Backyard pool and patio time is great for both two-legged and four-legged friends alike. However, one of the main downsides is scalding hot surface temperatures that burn your feet and your puppy's paws. Joining us today is home improvement expert and lifestyle expert Catherine Emery to give us some great tips on how to keep the summer going through the fall so that we can enjoy the outdoors and keep our feet cool. Hi, Catherine. Thank you so much for having me. Hey, let's extend living outside. What do you have for us? So add a coating to your flooring surfaces outside and you can reduce those temperatures. So Glidden has just launched this porch and floor and concrete stain that can reduce surface temperatures by up to 20%. Isn't that amazing? So put it on concrete, wood patios, porches, pool decks. It's gonna keep your feet cooler when you're out there as well as your furry friend's paws. They also have a porch and floor anti-skid with cool surface technology formula. So this one's gonna add texture to those surfaces, which is gonna increase the traction. This is great, think about it, pool decks, exterior stairs where things can get slippery. You can use that extra traction and added safety to minimize slips. This is available in 26 cooling colors. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to homedepot.com or select Home Depot stores starting in October. The hardest thing to decide is which of these 26 amazing colors to choose from because this product is very easy to apply. No primer coat, extremely durable finish, so amazing. To kick off this launch, Glidden decided to throw, what else, a puppy pool party. You heard me right, check this out. So this is just to really celebrate the benefits of this technology where it's going to keep things cooler with that cool surface technology. Like I said, up to 20% it can reduce those temperatures. And what better way with this, you know, professional party squad. Look at them. They're having a great time. But this really shows off those benefits of that cool surface technology. So go to Glidden's Instagram or Facebook. You've got to check out this puppy pool party. And for more information on these amazing products, go to hotdogsummer.com. Thanks so much, Catherine. Thank you so much for having me. Nikki. I love it, I love it, I love it. Aviation enthusiasts everywhere are gonna be a little bit jealous right now. Our friends at Timex sent us this very lovely Pan Am bag with a few little gifts. Inside we have a Pan Am passport cover. Whoop, I'll take we that. We also have a Pan Am luggage tag. But what we Whoop. do have that's also pretty interesting that no one really has right now is a one of its kind, <gasps> Pan Am Timex watch. Wow, okay? that's beautiful. There's two versions of the watch. One of this, there's this yeah. version, then there's also a chronograph. Give me, now, give me, give me. Now, they sold out yeah. so fast online yeah. that now there's a wait list to get them. What? 
I know. Where can people go to find it? Timex.com is where you go to get them. Yeah. We were lucky enough, our friends at Timex sent us one of these so we can play with it, wear it, and take a look at it. You can't steal it. <laughs> it is coming home with me. This is beautiful. Isn't it? I, it it's the, really the cool. The detail is beautiful on that. You gotta take a look at the watch. Timex.com. Well, Robert, it's time again for a dose of travel inspiration on the go, where we're sending you to take the Rhine and Viking shores and fjords cruise on Viking Ocean Cruises. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Explore six countries over 15 days on Vikings award-winning ships. <sighs> Do you need a break? <laughs> There's a lot of information. I want to go. Okay, discover Nordic wonders by sea, then tour highlights of the legendary Rhine River. Embark in historic Bergen, a city with deep Viking roots and set off for Norway's dramatic fjords landscapes. I would love to do this because these are my other side. These are my other people. You're part Viking, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, these okay. are my other people. I'm ready. Okay, from the seaside village of Skagen, Denmark, sail the North Sea to Amsterdam. Explore Holland's famous windmills in Kinderdijk. 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 I've been there. Yay! Yay! Been there. <laughs> this journey is available now, guys, with discount airfare from the U.S. and a $100 Visa gift card just for booking by visiting Ocean and river sailings.com. That sounds so it's fun. It's so many times you read city names that I'm like, where is that? I have no idea, or you don't know how to pronounce it. I'm like, oh my you God, I've it. actually been there. And by the way, I'm wearing the new Pan Am watch, so she can't steal then it. I'm getting this so, stuff. Thank you, Timex. It's not for Nikki. <laughs> Thanks for we'll watching. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. I love this bag. You can fit all of your treats in here, just shoving treats, 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 <laughs> and then treats. I'm going to go visit my Viking people. The watch is mine.